Oh, absolutely. And so that's what they did. And if you notice, this man has like the mama, the baby mama, the everybody in the family, aunties, cousins, everybody, and they're on internet mm -hmm. attacking. They're just like a gang. Yeah. But on my end, I really love my family. So I, they love me. Mm -hmm. You know, I have a mom. She has a mouth. Mm -hmm. She got hands. Mm -hmm. I got brothers. Mm -hmm. They all over six three. Mm -hmm. They got hands. Come on, talk about it. They from Compton. Because if they if the girl is five eleven, you know the boy is taller. They all <laughs> six three. It's yeah. five of them. I yeah. got cousins. Like, but the fact that they respect me mm -hmm. to the point where you have not seen one of my family members on the internet saying anything. No, have not. They will not do it. You ain't seen not one of my brothers pull up and. Go crazy. And sometimes we want to see it. Right. right. But they respect me enough yeah. to understand when I say pipe down, pipe down. Yeah. His family don't have no respect for him. Nobody around him has any respect for him. He seems like a man that lacks control. Absolutely. A man that lacks control of his environment, his yeah. family, his team. Because usually when things go when things go left within families, in my opinion, you look to the head. And yeah. if the man is the head and the leader of the family, usually it's something that's going on with him. For sure. He lacks control of the people in his life, in his circle. And it's almost like he wants to lack that control. Yeah, I think that he, um, at this point, is probably just needing some sort of support mm -hmm. um i can he's see that not getting the proper support if not that makes all. any sense you know because when, when you're going through a situation like this the last thing you need is people around you just kind of like egging throwing on fuel on the, the fire yeah. yeah yep and so and i know a lot of people saw like i'm loving hip-hop they're like oh you got your friends in your business and this and this and that um even though it's a show and things are heightened mm -hmm. um i still held my position when it came to the people who wanted to to confront him i'm like yeah. i don't think that's and even idea. i feel like i feel like it's a difference between having your friends in your business expressing things with your friend and venting to them yeah. and like you said like family trying to attack absolutely like i'm not gonna hold you a couple weeks ago the episode where you showed mama d the the college the mm -hmm. certificate degree yeah. and she ripped it up yeah that was so triggering for me. Like when you reached your hand back, yeah. I was like, "Do it, please, it, do it, connect, it took connect, every connect." Thing <laughs> in my body, I had to remember. I had to remember to be unbothered. I had to remember. <laughs> I said that you just wrote a book <laughs> about having emotional intelligence yes. and piping yes. down. So you know, thank God. Well, let me tell that, you the that the I was. The people that you're not necessarily buddy buddy besties with, yeah. we're extremely proud of you. Thank you. How you're handling it. You, you know are what? you that, have so much grace in your spirit. It means so much to me for the people who actually get it. Um, you know, I'm not really a girl who try to like clear up a lot of things. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't go on the internet and address everything that somebody says or I I really don't care because I know the people that get it, they get it. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I love it. Let's talk. Let's talk co-parenting. Sure. And I, we don't like you said. We don't know what's heightened for the TV and the support and for all sure. that. My husband came to our marriage with two children. Okay. So I have two bonus kids. Love them to life. Yeah. I know you have. Uh, I don't even know. Do is she considered your bonus daughter? Do you do you consider her your bonus daughter? Um. The well, oldest daughter. Well, I did. I mean, you know, at this point, it's kind of okay. Weird, I want to so. talk about that though, For because sure. that I think that a lot of the times, step parenting is a rewardless job. Oh, absolutely. I think that we pour into we pour into these kids and we love on these kids, mm -hmm. and it's like, is it ever genuine? Some yeah. like it's that question. Is it ever genuine from them? And it's like, you, oh. you know what? I think that's more so um, a reflection of the parent, right? Absolutely. So for my children. I have these talks with them now mm -hmm. and and it may sound a little delusional or crazy, but I tell them that at some point you're going to have another parent. Like mm -hmm. you have your mommy, you have your daddy, you may have like a step mommy in the future and you have to be really respectful. Or a step daddy, ow. Well, yeah, that too. <laughs> but I want my kids to be so respectful of their step parent, their mm -hmm. future step parents, because I, I was blessed to be able to experience it and experience the highs and the lows of it. So now, um, for me, you, the person that I'm with right now, like, I appreciate the fact that we're kind of like long distance a little bit okay. because 
I don't know if I'm comfortable enough yet to take my kids out of their element right. in terms of having somebody else in our space. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if I want that for him. He has a kid that's a little bit older. Okay. And, but he's kind of like, he lives like a bachelor a little bit. So your house is spotless. It's everything. That's how I was before I had kids. I had white furniture. I had white things in my house. And then you have somebody else's kid come yeah. in your house and they kind of got to like walk on eggshells. And I don't want that for my kids. Yeah. And Go ahead and get some black leather furniture so we can wipe it off. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? So I want them to be comfortable being able to run around, spill shit, go crazy, yeah. do whatever they need to do right now and just live a happy life. And, you know, me and my guy, we can see each other on the weekends. But... And that's, that's I think yeah. that's okay. Especially because you have younger children, right? Yeah. Like how old are your babies? Um, two, three, and five. Yeah. They're little. <laughs> Jeez, OP. Yeah. Dog, yep. got you three times. Yeah. Dang. Back to back. Back to back. Lakers he sat you style. down. Yeah. Uh-huh. Dog, I sat you down. Oh, but I didn't even sit down, no, sis. I was out there. I was hooping. I was working. I was doing my thing. I it love was that. no sit down I love that. Time. You still hoop? I, you know, every now and then I'll get out there. Period. But but my middle daughter, I want her to play basketball. She's so, like, just naturally athletic. So really? I think she's going to be the one. That's what's up. Yeah. I, I don't, I used to, I used to want that for my, my kids. I don't, I don't think either, none of them are going to be that. See, athlete. don't you hate that? I like, do. and my son, he's going to be so tall and he don't, he's not interested at all. Yeah, my old, our oldest son is like, he's already like six feet tall and he's wow. 14 and he's like, he, he's where the game's at? <laughs> like, See? oh, come on, bro. Come on, let's right. go hoop. Come on, you don't want to hoop? They let's don't want to do it. No, they don't. Yeah. Let's talk about your book though. You sure. said you just wrote your book, Unbothered. Yeah. What inspired that? So, you know, going through this process, I had to really develop what I learned was like emotional intelligence. And that's just knowing when to respond, how to respond, mm-hmm. how to process things. And not only um, for like social media, but it helps in like business mm-hmm. and, and just regular all your relationships. Agreed. So now I literally process things before I respond. And I think one of the biggest things that kind of triggered this was in the beginning of the situation where it was this whole thing where um, I posted like this police report and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, It was just a moment where I was like, you know what? I have to do better in terms of my impulsiveness Mm because I was really responding and reacting based off of all the stress that I was under at the time. Mm -hmm. Like I'm going through a divorce and then I got all these people attacking me. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I just kind of like exploded without processing. Without thinking about it for real. Yeah. Yeah. That's, you've been talking to the lady. Yeah, of course. I can tell, girl. Absolutely. I can tell. Yes. I'm proud of you. I gotta talk to I the lady. I can always because... tell who's been talking to the lady. Yeah, because the I, lady be, I, the, it's, it's the like we all got trickle down in. therapy. Because yeah. we all be like, oh, that was your lesson two weeks ago, girl. Yeah. Me too. That's crazy. No, seriously. And I want to be so just like open and free for my new guy. I love him. That's, oh. I do. Like, he is. I love that. Yes. I love that and, for you. Yeah, and I, um, you know, he tells so me. So what is like it about every, him that you love? Well, he's just like a real, like, alpha, like, male. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, strong, dominant. just very dominant. And he tells me about myself, like, a lot. He's like, hey, you know, this ain't that. You got to relax. When's your birthday? March 1st, Pisces. Oh, Pisces. Yeah. When's his birthday? He's a Virgo. No, is it? That's okay. Is it? That's okay. Okay. That's okay. Know. That's okay. okay. We we like that. We'll talk more about that off camera. What's your ta- your sign. I'm a I'm a Taurus. Okay. May 18th. Okay. Yeah yeah yeah. Okay, no, no, no. I have a really close Taurus friend. So yeah. I yeah. Know you. I we yeah. we yeah, Pisces and Taurus. We're soulmates actually. Did you really? know that? I yes. did not know that. Yes. We you do great with Taurus friends. Yeah, you do I have great this if you dated Taurus. a Taurus. Oh, you would I've do never. great. You, okay. you would do great with a Taurus part. But no, we gonna stick with this Virgo. All right, let's get yeah, it. Yeah, let's stick yeah, with yeah. this Virgo. I love it. That's what's up. Yeah. I'm happy for you because yeah. I know like I know how difficult it is mm-hmm. to to bounce back after that heartbreak for yeah. real. Like I know oh, for sure. it's it's difficult sometimes picking those pieces up. Mm-hmm. And it, I couldn't imagine what it's like picking those pieces up publicly. Yeah. Like for a show in front of everybody. Absolutely. And I think the best part of it for me was that I truly took my time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I filed for divorce November um well what's this year 20, 2024 24 so that was like 23 no 22 22 mm-hmm. um and then not me telling you when you filed right for right 
So it was 22, and then the divorce was June. So that was like, you know, over like six months ago, Mm -hmm. the actual divorce. But, you know, all that time leading up to then, I I was just like by myself, working on myself, doing what I needed to do for myself. And, um, you know, I feel like I'm good, like real good. That's what's up. Yeah. So... What's your what's your thoughts on the spin the block situation? Do you believe in spinning the block or no. do you believe in moving moving on? I, I can't spin any blocks because for one, every guy that I've been with has been like a real relationship. So mm-hmm. I was engaged once be once before. And at that point it's like, okay, we were engaged, we didn't get married, mm-hmm. like I'm not gonna go back. And then with him, it's like we were married, we had kids, like what what, what else, else could we do? Yeah. What else is like there? we're there's nothing else. And I, I just will not give the man the pleasure of spinning a block after I've given all of that. You that, know what I'm saying? Yeah, after embarrassment yeah, or after like trying you, to embarrass and drag. There never. is. And yeah. then I, I have two daughters. Yeah. So. They have. Come on. Come you know, on. They, they're going to see all of yeah. this stuff one day. And I don't care who it is. Like, you cannot let nobody play with you like that. Do all of the kids get together at least? Which kid? Like all of his his kids well, and all of when your he, kids together. Um, when he takes them, you know, I'm okay. sure they all get together. Okay, but that's like something that he has to. He do. has to that's, initiate. Yeah, for yeah, sure. That's, that's his not thing. On you. Nah, yeah, that's real. Mm-hmm. Would Would it bother you if the kids were around him and another woman at all? No, not at all. And I know that they've um done that to try to taunt me, but it doesn't. It doesn't bother me at all. 